In this video we pull up anchor in Greece and set off in some really calm conditions which makes for an amazing experience with some dolphins. I make some minor repairs to our outboard and then we visit the city of Hermopoli. Sadly, due to a family emergency, we have to say an early goodbye to Ella. All right, had a nice little dinner last night. Just finished editing a video and uploading it. Uh, patrons get it early, by the way, and plus they get the extended, uh, like uncut, unedited, like uncensored stuff. I mean, we never show nudity, so don't ask for that. We're not doing anything like that. It's the, the stuff that doesn't make it into the video, they get access to all that. So like this video that just came out was 12 and a half minutes long. It's about 40 minutes of, you know, raw footage. So if you want to watch the whole thing, great. Uh, patrons get access to that as well as channel members. So, hey. All right, so uh, dinner was, uh, it's good dinner. Actually, it was, we got pizza. I'm, it's pretty, I'm, I have it for lunch too. <laughs> how Spicy. Was yeah. <laughs> all right, so how are you enjoying uh, sleeping on the boat? I think I'm getting used to it. Yeah, yeah, it's not as rough as I thought it would be, so yeah. that's a plus. You, you keep saying, like, every time we go to land, you feel like you're still I'm moving. like, yeah. <laughs> moving like this. <laughs> All right, so we've got the dinghy up. We kind of have a issue with the dinghy motor. I think the prop might be spun on it a little, so I got to, I don't know how to fix that. Hopefully it is an easy fix, but that's what Google's for, right? So uh, we are going to pull up anchor here in just a few minutes, and uh, going to head up to Syros. Uh, Finicus, Finica is one of my favorite places there. We're going to go there. All right, you, you know, one of the upgrades that one of the previous owners made to this boat is they upgrade to a heavier chain, which is great for holding, but it doesn't really fit in this chain locker very well, so it keeps castling. So we kind of have, well, wherever we pull the anchor up, kind of got to like uh, lay the chain by hand on it. Watch your fingers. There you go. And we're off, yep. Uh, I don't know, about four hours up there today. It's like 20 something miles. So. The first part of our sail, there was absolutely no wind, which made for some really calm conditions to motor through. so calm out here. I just stopped the boat just to get the good shot there. It's pretty cool. And the visibility is terrible. So like, you know, looking out that way, it just looks like nothing. Yeah, it's kind of eerie. I can hear a ferry out there, but can't see him. There's some loud motors. All right, let's keep on going. So of course, you know, that's sailing is, uh, you know, yesterday we were headed west, the wind was out of the west. Today we wanted to head north, the wind's out of the north. I mean. What can you do? So uh, anyway, but it's pretty light. Eight knots, maybe less. So, I don't know, about 20 miles to go. Come on up here. Uh, come on, man. Really, he checked us out, but then he swam away, he's over there. I love it when they swim with us when it's this clear, it's amazing. Come on, guys, come on up here. Here you go, wow. Look at this. You gotta come up here, come on. Wow. What's up guys? Oh my God. So cool. How you doing? What's up guys? What's up buddy? So cool. What do you think? So cool. It's not often, they, I mean, when the water's this clear, wow.
it's so cool like you, you can see them looking at you you know they're they swim on their side and they look up at you through the water i mean they're all out over here it's pretty cool that's awesome that's only the second time i've like seen them in this like just glass water yeah. and it's just amazing you can see them in such detail it's pretty cool yeah. all right this is the island of Ciro's. hopefully we get a spot on the dock i don't know i saw just two boats go in one catamaran got a spot the dog looks kind of full hopefully there's enough space we'll see There was one spot left and we were able to squeeze in. It's a rather warm one today, so we are going to go find some fun cold drinks. We got a moped. Last time we rode on a scooter. Well, you were in the Actually, not that long ago. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> All right. So there's another bay down the road. We're going to go there, check it out, have a little sunset view, and uh, some nice drinks. Hopefully, we don't crash. Well, hopefully. All right, let's get out of here. It's only a 50cc, though, so like, it's all they had, so it won't be real fast. I want to give my love to you. Oh, night after night, don't let me go. You spin me around. I could do this every day. Part of the reason I wanted to come here to Ciro's is that there's a pretty nice marine store here and uh, the other day when we were dinging him back to shore uh, I felt like the prop was spun on this motor. Um, the prop I mean is in really good shape it's not dinged up or anything it probably just I mean it's it wears out right so it's a rubber thing and it just wears out so what happens is, is you have between the prop and the shaft there uh, you've got like a little plastic or rubber spacer and it's supposed to be really tight fitting and then if you hit something hard with the repeller uh you don't want to bend the shaft or run the motor right so it spins on that uh, spacer that rubber spacer and if it does it enough times it kind of hollows it out and so then when you try to put power to the motor it's just spinning that shaft inside that little rubber spacer so uh normally you'd see damage or something to the prop but there's none so it's just wear and tear and there's not a whole lot of grease on there but it looks like there might be some like rubber residue on there from this thing spinning out in there so a lot of times they just replace the whole propeller uh, and you can kind of see where it's been spinning on this little head here so it's pretty easy to do you just pull a little cotter pin and use a then you back the nut off of the thing and pull the prop off so uh anyway so i'll take this to the marine store hopefully they've got one that's compatible We're gonna go in town today, see if we can find some parts, have lunch, and uh, kind of explore Armopolis, which is like the most business and biggest city down here in the Sakhalites. I don't know if it's still the biggest, but it used to be. It was about a 30 minute ride to the other side of the island. So this is the main par, uh, port of Hermopolis on Syros, big city, obviously. I stayed here a couple days uh, last uh, two or three weeks ago when I came through here. There's so much surge in this marina, it's really uncomfortable, except for, especially when a ferry comes in, it's just almost like, I, it caught me in the shower one time and like I had to hold on for like five minutes while the boat was just kind of rocking like that. So there's not even a ferry in here right now, and I don't know when the last one left, but the waves just kind of bounce off and on the walls. And so all these boats here, they, the wake lasts for like 30 minutes. So 
Ella was just telling me there's wildfires here too. Well, Canada is having its biggest wildfires. It might be, actually, they say if it keeps at the same pace, it might be the biggest wildfires in history. Yeah. But what do you think of this little town, Hermopolis? It's one of the most beautiful places I've been at. Yeah, you got these marble roads and everything. It's pretty cool. Beautiful place. This is like the main square, like uh, I guess the main government building. I'm not sure exactly what it is. Yeah. Uh, nice place to hang out. There is a Mexican food place right there. Like that's one thing in Greece is that it's basically it's only Greek food and Italian. That's it. But there is a Mexican food place right there that I discovered last time I was here. It was was okay. So, Really exciting coming up here to the town hall. Largest town hall in Greece, built in 1889. Well, that's the one thing about these marble like, they're slippery. Steps. They're slippery, yeah. So the ferry came in about 10 minutes ago, so it's not as bad as it was, but you know, when the ferry comes in, the waves just balance all through here. You can see the ferry leaving now, and you know, they put out a really big wake. So coming and going, I mean, he's, you can see his wake there. And so then that's gonna bounce around in circles around this thing for 30 minutes. And so it's just, these, it gets really bouncy in here. And sometimes it's really bad. Those, the ferries here don't care. They just get in full speed and slam on the brakes at the dock. So it was a success going to get the part for the dinghy. And you can see the difference between the spun prop and the prop that's brand new. Prop that's uh, spun, you can see how that center metal piece is kind of spinning uh, inside the rubber, whereas on the other one, uh, you know, there's a whole bunch of rubber around it. So hopefully it works. All right, got the new prop on there. So next time I put in the water, I'll test it out. Uh, it's pretty simple to do. You know, that motor sat like unused for a couple years. So, you know, probably just this rubber just, you know, dried out, right? And got real brittle and uh, from not being used. And it just failed eventually. Yes. All right. Well, we have some bad news. Uh, so there's been a family emergency back home, and it's it's pretty sad. But uh, we weren't going to get into that. We're going to uh, respect her privacy there. So for Ella, but Ella has to go home back to the UK. But maybe see you guys in the future. Yeah. So we'll yeah. see. I hope so. So <laughs> it's you know it's only been a week. I guess you've been here, but yeah. it's been a lot of fun having you. We've had a good time. It's been great. We've been doing that. So. Many more times to come. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, we're going to keep in touch, and you never know what happens. There we go. All right. All right. Thanks for coming out. Medic, medic, mental march, got a serious injury.